So just six months after the launch of the C3 hatchback, Citroen has entered the EV game in India and is here with this, the EC3, the electric version of the C3. It's gonna go directly against the Tata Tiago EV. And we are here to find out exactly what it's gonna feel like. It has a claimed range of around 320 kilometers, but sadly, this isn't a real world review. Today, we are on a proving ground or a test track, which means there are limitations to what I can tell you, but we will get a feel of what this car is like to drive. But before we get to the performance, let's take a quick look at the design. Visually, it's identical to the ICE version with distinct Citroen styling and you also get plenty of customization options to stand out from the crowd. There are 13 color options, 3 customization packs and 2 interior trim options as well. Over to the side, it still gets 15-inch steel wheels and the charging port is on the driver's side fender. Also, due to the battery pack located under the floor, the ground clearance is now down to 170mm from the ICE version's 180mm. At the rear, the EC3 badge apart, there isn't any change and overall, it remains a stylish hatchback. Now, like on the outside, the changes on the inside of the EC3 aren't that many because compared to the standard car, you get pretty much everything. The dashboard layout is the same, you get the same touchscreen as well with the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, wireless, you get the same climate control and customization options like these trimmings that can be changed are also part of the package. But sadly, with an EV, you expect a bit of modernism, you expect that EV funky nature and that with this car is missing, because especially with the instrument cluster, because it just feels a bit too dated and a bit too old. And even stuff like these ORVM adjustments, you know, they are manually controlled and on an EV in 2023, it is a bit of a dated piece. The same goes for the manual AC control knobs and the analog feel in the cabin. Low down, the drive selector is a slick toggle switch with the drive mode button. But again, space on the whole is plenty. You have a good amount of wheelbase as well. And the seats are nice and comfortable. The steering position is good. You have height adjust for the seats, which can find you a good position. So yes, it does have its positives. But like I said, the EV bits are a bit missing. Feature-wise, you miss out on a reversing camera and rear defogger, among others. In the rear, you will notice the floor that is up by 70 mm and that means passengers will be seated in a knees up position. Yes, the long wheelbase means passengers over 6 feet won't struggle for knee room, but the overall seating is a tad uncomfortable due to the raised floor height. That said, there has been no change to the boot as you still get 315 litres with the spare wheel tucked underneath. So practicality isn't too bad. Now this review is more of a first impression, so there are some things like the real world range and city driving manners that I can't tell you about. What I can tell you about is performance. It has a 29.2 kWh battery pack that powers a permanent magnet synchronous motor. Power is rather less at 57 horsepower, that's 25 horsepower less than the ICE version. But it has the torque, it has 143 Nm. However, the performance is not what you'd call brisk. It is a very leisurely car and power delivery too is very, very subdued and subtle. With an EV, you want instant acceleration, you want that torque to come in and you want that initial response. That with the EC3 is not really there. 0 to 60 kph takes 6.8 seconds and the EC3 tops out at 107 km per hour. Now in terms of performance, like I said, you don't have much on offer. You do get drive modes, but there isn't any sport mode on offer. That could have salvaged a bit. But on this, you do get an Eco mode, apart from the standard mode. However, there isn't much difference when you switch to Eco because you don't feel too different from the standard car. And like I said, overall power delivery is on the linear side, which means you cannot really expect a lot of performance and punch from this car. Now, of course, being on a proving ground, I can't really give you a real-world range for the EC3. The claims are set at 320 kilometers, but uh, we all know how claims go. Real-world number obviously will be a lot less. What I can tell you is it does have a standard region mode and yes, you do feel it. But again, it's not too strong, it's not too much in your face and you won't really notice it being at work. What you will notice though are the brakes. They are a tad bit spongy and you would have liked a bit better pedal response. In terms of handling, the steering on the EC3 is sharp and direct, but the soft suspension setup means there is a fair amount of roll in the corners. 
Now the soft suspension is very good on bad roads and on our city roads like the C3, this one too will be very good. But sadly, the test track did not allow us to get a real feel of the right comfort. Recharging options on the EC3 include a 3.3 kilowatt onboard charger that you get, which if you plug into a normal 15 ampere port, will take you from 10 to 100 percent in 10 and a half hours. But the EC3 also has fast charging options, which means you can put it in a fast charger and that will then charge from 10 to 80 percent in just 57 minutes. Citroen is also setting up a network of fast chargers in every showroom where even EVs that aren't from the Citroen brand will be able to recharge. Prices for the EC3 aren't out yet, but based on the C3, we estimate it to cost around the 12 lakh rupee mark for the top spec field trim. Citroen even have plans to expand the dealer network from 30 to 75 showrooms to broaden its footprint. As a strict city car, the EC3 has its positives like a practical cabin, comfortable ride and standout styling. However, you will have to make do with the basic interiors, missing features and average performance. As far as first impressions go, this has been a lukewarm one. But we would like to get it out in the real world for a thorough review and give it another fighting chance.